Hey guys, I forgot to mention two coins and a lot more coins, uh, but these two um, are the first ones to pop up in my mind that uh, are interesting buys uh, uh, if we get a bear market uh, for me, uh, and that's uh, Dash and Steemit. I never bought them. <coughs> I should have. Um, uh, when there was still uh, in, when I was shopping in 20 um, well 15 uh, and 2016 um, yeah and there's many coins I should have bought that I didn't buy Dash is certainly one of them uh, but Monero too um, uh, 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 Ethereum uh, uh, these are well, actually, Monero, I wouldn't, I'm not interested to buy, even though they have the best privacy solution today. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned many times in my videos, I really don't like their uh, trolling uh, attitude uh, towards other coins and even bullying and mocking uh, other projects. It's really not cool, I think. And, uh, and also, um, uh, well, they are too too much stuck to uh, the Bitcoin core uh, vision of developing uh, a crypto, which is um, uh, the idea that the on-chain scaling is not possible. And so we saw that the transaction fees went up a lot uh, at Monero also uh, when uh, times get busy. Uh, so, so, so I do think, uh, even though they are the leader now, I do think that over the years they will lose leadership uh, in the privacy coin segment also. Um, and, um, and and so I, I'm, I'm, I don't think this is going to be an interesting buy, at least not for me, uh, in the next bear market. And, um, uh, but, I, but I'm happy that they are in the market because uh, they did certain things very good, Monero. I mean, they are the best privacy coin today, the most useful one. And, uh, and, um, and, and, um, and, and, um, and that's a very important uh, well offering. Uh, so, so I think they do. Uh, they have done a great job. Um, so, uh, why Dash? Uh, Dash, um, like Monero, uh, was a, a smaller project, uh, but has uh, become one of the big projects today. Um, and uh, I didn't buy it initially because I thought there was a lot of hypocrisy about um, um, the leadership, um, Ivan, uh, how he got his uh, coins. Uh, there was a so-called accident uh, that he was mining all the coins in the beginning, uh, but it was not an accident, of course. Uh, this was uh, because he wanted to have a, a, a big stash. Uh, and I think that I'm saying is not a problem as a founder. You deserve a big stash, but why be hypocritical about uh, about it? Huh? Um, and 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 the same with um, overselling of their um, well innovations. I think they did a great innovation when it comes to the business model uh, of cryptocurrency. Dash is just genius. Uh, so a piece of the inflation goes to the marketing and development uh, team, and and, and they actually can propose projects, um, everybody can, and then uh, every month or so there are, uh, people can vote uh, and the, 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 the most popular uh, proposals are, are getting funding from the inflation. I think that's genius. Uh, and, 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 but they are overselling it in that they like to represent uh, Dash as a decentralized organization, meaning that the leadership also is decentralized uh, but this is not true. Um, um, the leadership has, well, a lot of masternodes thanks to having a very big uh, or a big piece of the supply of the coins since start. And so they actually are the ones that having the, the decisive voting power uh, on the platform or on uh, in the cryptocurrency. Uh, and so, so that's just the reality of today. And, uh, and, 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 and so you're still dependent there on, on a few people that if they start to make poor decisions like Ivan, well, you know, the coin will go down the drain uh, like it is with all other coins, even with Bitcoin uh, uh, or with Byteball or Bitcoin Cash, even uh, Bitcoin Cash actually, I think 
or Ethereum, of course, oh, that's clear. Bitcoin Cash actually, I think, is the most decentralized project eh? because you always have to ask yourself the question, okay, so if this leader dies, who, who's the leader, first of all? Does everybody know who's the leader for Ethereum? Yes, of course. Eh? Uh, for Bitcoin Core, well, a, a lot less, but if you study it a little, yes, you can figure out who are the three people that actually are calling the shots. Uh, and uh, and and um, it's Adam Beck eh? uh, in in Bitcoin Core and Vitalik in Ethereum and in Dash it's uh, Ivan eh? uh, and in Monero it's uh, Fluffy Pony. Eh? But typical of many of these leaders is they will deny that they are the leaders and they are calling the shots. This is just the top of hypocrisy uh, that I, I really don't like. Um, and, and so that's that that shows how centralized the the leadership is and. If you know the name of the uh, of who who are the big boys, then well, they probably have a lot of influence also on the decision making. And actually, for Bitcoin Cash, this is not the case. You, can you tell me who's the leader there? Yeah, people are gonna say Roger Ver, but this is not true. This is a lie. Huh? Or 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 um, the, uh, Jihan Wu. That's that's not true. Uh, they have been promoters of Bitcoin Cash. Yes, but. They are not in, involved in the development uh, of Bitcoin Cash, um, and 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 actually um, the ones that are making the decisions, or, or you have also now uh, Will Wright. Uh, is that his name? Um, no, I have that wrong. Uh, 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 Wright is his last name. But but uh, so 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 you have a lot of outspoken supporters of Bitcoin Cash, uh, or the guy that called him CEO of Bitcoin Cash. Uh, uh, Valkevinge, eh? Rick Valkevinge, um, but 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 actually they are not actually involved at all. These are all marketeers or, 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 or evangelists. Um, the the impact they have on, on the decisions of the development is as little as when they once were uh, evangelizing Bitcoin. Uh, Roger Ver, Roger Yanwu. Uh, they were also not having any impact on the development, and uh, and that's just proven today clearly. Huh? Uh, and, and but it's the same in Bitcoin Cash. Uh, actually, it's uh, the lead developer of one of the clients because Bitcoin Cash has several clients. I think it's dead and on the leaks or something. But anyway, nobody knows who these lead developers are uh, in in Bitcoin Cash. There are several ones because there are several clients. So it's a very decentralized project, and I think that's great. Um, and that's very important and a very good characteristic of a project. And, and, and Dash does not have that, sadly, <laughs> even though they claim to have that. No. Uh, what I do believe is that Ivan has taken a big step back. That's possible, but I can't confirm that. That's what people say, eh? that he has, uh, that uh, there are quite some other people that are calling the shows now. That's possible. I can't say that. And But, but if if... Yeah, that's a little bit like Bill Gates um, taking a step back as CEO. But as long as he's the biggest uh, biggest shareholder, he basically can vote who is uh, the CEO. Eh? And um, uh, and so as long as I uh, even probably eh, controls a lot of the master nodes and kills still with his vote uh, really direct the project. Uh, but I, I suspect he's still also lead developer and basically also there behind the scenes is, is calling the shots. But I could be wrong about the latter, but uh, but okay. Um, so, uh, uh, but I still like Dash. I think if you take out the hypocrisy, they have done uh, an amazing job. Uh, um, 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 Amanda Johnson is a genius uh, and a beautiful girl. And... Um, uh, and she has done just amazing ev evangelism in the early days and, um, and, and, um, and, and has just addressed a lot of problems uh, indeed that are uh, in Bitcoin um, uh, and, uh, uh, and communicated ver that very well. Uh, and, and the biggest problem in Bitcoin is a lack of a business model and they really solved that. Uh, so that's just very well done and I do think Dash will continue to be a very important cryptocurrency just because they have the, uh, nailed the business model down. This is just so important. And, 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 so, and so that's why I, I believe it's a good investment uh, because um, yeah, um, they will continue to do very likely very well. 
uh, one other minor thing about Dash, I would say, is just the speed of development is also slow. Eh? They've been talking for years about building a very user-friendly client, but to my knowledge, it's still not there. So, 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 I, I, I do think this, these are red flags. It's the same with Monero. Eh? Just so slow the development, uh, and they have so many developers. I find that weird. Um, so, 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 but, 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 but okay, I mean, um, they say that uh, developing a decentralized cryptocurrency is a very hard thing. Uh, and so, okay, uh, and, and, and in the end we have to choose between what's available. Uh, and, 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 and I do think Dash um, um, yeah, has done a great job, um, uh, but of course it has gone up so much in price that... Uh, that's why I always saw better alternatives to invest in. Um, but if there's a serious bear market, then I think this is certainly worthwhile to pick up. The same for Steemit. Uh, Steemit, uh, I didn't invest in initially because of the founder um, that was originally developing BitShares. Uh, when I was investing in NXT, BitShares was one of the big competitors together with um, um, counterparty that was rebranded in Omni that was built on Bitcoin blockchain but BitShare was also an independent blockchain like NXT and uh, and they did uh, also a, 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 a good job but I was never attracted to the project um, and um, uh, and for Steemate, I liked the idea, uh, but I didn't understand how people, why would people invest money into these in Steam or, and also found it a little bit too complicated. You have Steam and Steam US dollars. Uh, so I didn't, and that's why I didn't invest in it. But today I have to admit, this platform is still running, growing, uh, and, 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 and wow, that's just fantastic. Yeah, it's really needed in this world of YouTube and Twitter. You see a lot of accounts disappearing and being censored just for, uh, it's weird, or, or, or channels just not getting any attention in the search ranking while others get all the attention. It's, a, I think, actually platforms are becoming more and more censored. Uh, and, 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 and so you really need yeah media platforms that are not censorable, plus that have a business model behind it that works a lot better because this YouTube, you cannot make money on that. Even if you are offering a lot of value, getting a lot of views and still you make questionable money uh, for Twitter too, no money at all. And so if you offer a lot of value to a lot of people, you have a lot of followers or viewers, then you should make good money with that. And, and, and actually cryptocurrency uh, can solve that problem and Steemit has done so. So a combination of not sensible and, and a great business model has a great future. And so that's why I think Steemit uh, is a good investment and I will pick up if we get a decent bear market. And then of course, I forgot to mention because I always talk about Byteball, but I think actually uh, Black Bytes uh, today, even today, uh, is still a good investment even though we can go into, well, even when we go into a bear market, um, uh, black bytes have this the chance to be recognized um, even during a bear market as being more valuable than the valuation it has. It's a 20 million US dollar valuation is nothing, uh, and so uh, with such kind of valuation, you can have things happening like I don't know a dark market picks it up or. Um, it's getting traded, start to be traded on a decentralized exchange because that's the problem of black bytes that can't be traded on a centralized exchange. So that also causes its low valuation, but decentralized exchanges are up and coming. So maybe get picked up on one and then, and then it get traded more and maybe even listed uh, in coin market cap due to that. All these things can cause it to go up during a bear market even. So I think that's actually what the only coin I see, and there are of course others too, but I just don't see them. But the, from the coins I see, this is one only coin that I think is today still a good investment, even when we go into a deep bear market. And of course, if we go into a bear market, it will, and, and valuations stay around the same. It's of course a good investment. Uh, that's, that's, that, that's for sure. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, 
and um, thanks so much for watching and please uh, share my videos because I also notice on my YouTube channel I I really don't get that many views I think considering my history uh, I, I suspect I'm not really uh, well ranked uh, in search uh, engine results uh, when people are watching YouTube videos uh, what's, what comes on the site as being recommended uh, you can let me know on the bottom how you discovered my YouTube channel uh, because I have the impression um, YouTube is not uh, recommending my videos very much so um, so that's why I really appreciate it when you share it with your friends on your Facebook or on your Twitter um, just tell it if you have friends and you, you think they can get value from my videos uh, share it uh, I really value that thanks so much for watching bye